question is how does mining works so you've seen so far all this bitcoin the use i you should look into bitcoin and the other stuff the question is how does mining works i will try and explain it now like your traditional uh, currencies the central bank is the only person that has is the only body that has the rights to exclusively produce money every currency known that is not coming out of the central bank is deemed invalid and cannot be accepted as a means of payment so what is mining mining is the process in which new bitcoins are actually released into the system I've said something about uh, Bitcoin that we can only have 21 million Bitcoin and there is a set time for that there is a set year for that so as the day is increasing it becomes very complicated here is Genesis mining Genesis mining TED talk yeah if you watch this video the CEO of Genesis mining actually gave a story of a guy who was mining Bitcoin in the early days of Bitcoin and he had over 300,000 Bitcoin but then the uh, bitcoin had no value so the girlfriend came on there as like she was upset and was like why are you wasting time and this and that so he became upset and not to uh displace the girlfriend he threw away the computer and when he heard that the price of bitcoin was selling for i think $100 then he sought everywhere I think he invested something like is it 30 million or 10 million something like that 200,000 Bitcoin so it was not selling for I think he invested 3 million to be able to get back these coins searched everywhere he could not get the computer and let's look at the price of bitcoin today seven thousand let's say from around three hundred that is two, two billion one hundred nineteen million dollars that was what was thrown away So unlike the unlike the early days, where people there were no much people mining, so there were no much computers. So one can actually mine with their laptop. But currently, with the laptop I'm using, there is no laptop over there that can actually mine Bitcoin. If you try it, you're gonna destroy your computer. I once uh, downloaded a, a software to mine uh, cryptocurrencies. And if you the, if you if you watch the way my system was heating up, uh, I have to uninstall it. So if uh, you open those who have actually visited Genesis Mining and other mining uh, uh, corporations, discover that these things are consuming giga gigawatts of power. very complex supercomputers are the ones that are actually mining these things so your personal pc your computer is not going to go anywhere 
The question is, how does mining take place? Now, people are sending bitcoins to each other over the network all the time. But unless someone keeps a record of all this transaction, no one will be able to keep record of who has who has paid what. The bitcoin network deals with this by collecting all of the transactions made during a set period into a list called block. It is the miner's job to confirm those transactions and write them into a general ledger. So the mine is basically a piece of software. It is able to generate uh, Bitcoin by actually writing these records and confirming them. So whenever there is a confirmation, that is when they are being mined. So it takes supercomputers to actually do that. And not your computer. And you can see from this image, it talks about the, the hash. Where there is a block that is on a bit on the block, and there's a bit on, on that block, and there's a bit on that is and it's like you see something like chains you see this chain that is how the blockchain is so this could be a record and it's attached to this record it's attached to this record it's attached to this record and that was how the blockchain is so there's a competition for coins Every time someone creates a hash, they get a roll of 25 bitcoins. The blockchain is updated and everyone on the network sees about it. And they use the proof of work. So like I told you, it takes a lot of power to actually, in large supercomputing powers, to actually mine this uh, bitcoin. We will talk about proof of work in a much later video. So I'll see you in the next video.